Hickman Show on the Sports Map Radio Network. Presented by Rocket Mortgage. Need a mortgage that fits your life? Rocket can. Live from the O'Reilly Auto Parts studios, here's Jake Asman. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. You can get guaranteed low prices and excellent customer service from the professional parts people at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. Stage is set. Aaron Rodgers to win the match. There it is. That away, partner. Let's go. Yes, sir. Woo! You talk about one of the more boring people on the planet. That's Bryson DeChambeau. That's an aside. The call there, Brian Anderson on Turner Sports. So, Aaron Rodgers makes a putt, and him and Bryson DeChambeau knock off Bill Mickelson and Tom Brady. That's not what we're talking about, though, because the reality is, did anyone care that this thing happened yesterday? I mean, seriously, why are they doing this on a Tuesday up against the NBA Finals? Who's watching this? Ron, did you watch any of this? Sure didn't. Exactly. Why would anybody watch this over the NBA Finals? Or even like regular season baseball that's on. Just random. Like, did anyone even know this was happening? I got to be honest. Until yesterday morning, I had no idea it was even today. I knew it was coming. I just didn't know when. Random. Anyhow, that's not what we're talking about, though. Good for uh, Rodgers. Good for DeChambeau. All that. What we're talking about is Aaron Rodgers being asked about his future playing quarterback for the Packers and Aaron Rodgers channeling his inner Vince Vaughn in the movie Dodgeball and dodging the question. You know, Aaron Rodgers, uh, I see a bear out there. It, it leads me to a question. October 17th, Packers, Bears, any idea who's going to be there? Anybody who's going to be quarterbacking in the number 12 jersey? Yeah, I don't know, B.A. We'll see. How we'll about, see, won't we? How about September 12th, then? How, will you go for that one? What's that one? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the, the opener against the Saints. Oh. All cheesers resort, rejoice. Yeah, I don't know, B.A., we'll see. Okay. I know you're a Milwaukee guy. You hear that, and if I'm a Packers fan, I'm just like, enough. I get it. He's one of the great quarterbacks of all time. I get it. You need him. But, like, how many public things is Rodgers going to do and get asked about his future and then just give cryptic answers? He won't ever come out and say he wants to be traded, when we all know that's the case. So just come out and say it. Stop dodging the question. Say what you want. Say you have an issue with the GM. And publicly say it, not the you know cryptic stuff that he said to Kenny Maine during his last Sports Center about oh well you know the the culture and you know the people. Remember when he said that over and over again? The people, it's the people that make the organization. The people that make the org. It's like it's just it's enough. At the beginning of all this, I understand why Aaron Rodgers is frustrated. He sees Tom Brady pick his own team. Go to a team that cares about winning, loading them up with talent. I get it. But, man, Aaron Rodgers, where are you going this late in the process? Where are you going that's given you a better chance to win than the team you're currently on that went, went to the AFC title game last year and hosted the game? It's enough. It's enough with him just dodging questions and the cryptic stuff. I'd have more respect for Aaron Rodgers if he just comes out and says, look, I'm unhappy with the situation. I don't like the GM. Putting it all on him. I want out. I want out. And I am going to do everything in my power to force a trade. Just say that. I'd have more respect for you. Instead of just dodging questions and, oh, you know, B.A., I know you're a Wisconsin guy. Like, why are you teasing your own fan base? And I, I saw this here in Houston with Deshaun Watson. Now, the Watson stuff is taken on a totally different, um, you know, storyline because of the lawsuits. But pre-lawsuits, at the beginning of all this, when Watson was unhappy, Texans fans were on his side. Texans fans were like, I don't blame Deshaun for being upset at the organization. We don't like the owner. We don't like Jack Easterby being around. Now, I get why Deshaun's upset. And then, as the offseason continued and Watson started posting, you know, cryptic tweets, you know, tweeting out lyrics to future, Texas fans were like, enough. 
Like, it's enough. Like, dude, just play. You're being paid millions of dollars. Stop it. The Texans paid you $156 million before the season. They came out and gave you a long-term deal. You thanked Bill O'Brien. You thanked Shaq Easterby at the press conference. Stop. You signed a contract play. We're going to get to that point with Rodgers. He has more built-up cachet because he's Aaron freaking Rodgers and he's won a championship there. But we're going to get to a point where I think the Packer fan is eventually like, enough. It's going to be like Brett Favre all over again, where it's like, you know, this guy doesn't want to be here. Screw it. We're doing so. We got to move on because it, it, it it's just getting to a point where I, I can already see it. The Green Bay Packer fan eventually will be so fed up. They're going to want Rodgers out. And maybe that's what his master plan is all on. To be so stubborn, so cryptic, so annoying that eventually – you know, he gets his way, and then once the fan base turns on Rodgers, then the organization wouldn't feel the pressure of, we can't trade this guy. Well, maybe now they'd be able to trade that guy. So they'd rather try out a uh, an unproven Jordan Love than a seasoned vet than Aaron Rodgers. I mean, if he doesn't show up, what choice do you have? Yeah. Now, what I would do, because I'm a vindictive uh, SOB, I would not trade him. I would say, oh, you don't want to play for us? Well, you're not playing at all. Until a team actually does that, the player is always going to think they have power. That's why in the NBA, you know, you see superstars just demand the trade and they eventually get their way. Until you have the organization that says, no, we're not trading you. What's to stop this from continuing to happen? And I understand why Rodgers is frustrated. But ultimately, look at the roster they have given them. It's good enough to win a championship with. They've gone 13-3 and in the last two years. Other than Tampa... Name me the team in the NFC that is clearly better than Green Bay. Especially in the division they're in. Jared Goff and the Lions, a rookie in Justin Fields, or Andy Dalton to begin the year. Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. Like The Packers have an easy 10-plus wins, minimum playoff spot, probably better if Rodgers plays. So I get it. He's upset. But work out a deal like what Tom Brady did with the Patriots and say, this is my last year. I want my contract redone where I can opt out and can't be franchised after the season. I will come back and play for you, and then we will figure out our futures together after the year. Do what Brady did. But play out the last year and then go pick your team. Because still, I look at the Packers, and they're still loaded. So what if they haven't used a first-round pick on a wide receiver since Aaron Rodgers has been their quarterback? How many teams have a, a weaponry as good as Devontae Adams, who, who might be the best receiver in the league, Alan Lazard, M Marquez Valdez-Scantlin's a nice player. Robert Tunyon played like a pro bowler last year. They re-signed Aaron Jones. His offensive line has got a couple pro bowlers on it. It's not so bad for Aaron Rodgers. Like, I, you know, I, I get it. We're all supposed to defend him, and how dare you know, the Packers do this. How dare they do that? They wronged them. Well, eventually you got to play. Your job is to play. And Aaron Rodgers is acting like a baby here. I would have more respect for the guy if he just came out and said, this guy's the reason why I'm not playing Green Bay. That's why I'm not there. Like, you want something to get done? Publicly name who you're calling out instead of the cryptic. The people make the organization. It's the people. Well. In that interview with Kenny Mayne, you said you loved the coach, said you loved the fans, said you loved your teammates. Notice who we didn't mention. Team President Mark Murphy, General Manager Brian Gutekunst. What, like, we all know it. Just say it. And he's never going to come out and say he wants to be traded because he doesn't want to lose the fan base. Well, I'm telling you, the longer this drags out, eventually, Ron, he's going to lose the fan base. Yeah, I mean, that's... That's kind of the writing on the wall. We saw it happen with Favre. I mean, Favre will still go back to Green Bay and he's still beloved, but you, know, you we all witnessed it firsthand where the Packers, Packer fans were just kind of frustrated that Favre retired. Now nah, and then he's unretired. Now nah, he's retired again. Now nah, he's unretired. And and it was almost like that that diva in Favre of you no, know, I want you guys to come down and and come get me. I want I want you to want me. I want you guys to need me and yearn for me. I I need you guys to. You know, you, you can't live without me. And so I can have that chip on my shoulder, that feeling of going back to your team. And then it just got to a point where it's like, you know, we'll just run with those Aaron Rodgers kids and see what happens. Man, it's worked out great for them, but now they're, you know, almost the same time frame, 16 years later, doing the same exact thing again.
you almost hope that Jordan Love could just go out there in the preseason and no, play I, really well. I hope Aaron Rodgers is able to find a new team. You know, maybe it is going to Denver. I don't know. Have him go to Denver. Have him uh, try to figure out stuff there. I mean, I'm saying that as a Chargers fan, saying have him come to Denver. As you know, that's like the worst case scenario. I don't think he he going to Denver makes them a super. No, Bowl but it makes it, it makes him competitive. It, it, it certainly it, it kind of ruins you know my hope of hey, if Patrick Mahomes slips, the Chargers can slide right into the number one slot. But the Chargers can still be better than Denver. Denver's okay. People overrate the Denver roster. People are like, oh, well, the Broncos have this great defense. Go look at their defense. It's not yeah. so great. They got one good player. Von Miller's older. All right? And like, it, you're not getting 2015 Von Miller in, in the year 2021. Like, Denver's a good team. If he plays for the Packers, they're still the best option he has of winning another championship. And guess what? Brett Favre only won one Super Bowl in Green Bay. Rodgers, go win one more and be better than him. Do that. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Oh,